So now about range of hearing. As we explained how the sound waves are generating, so you can very well understand that sound waves range from very low frequency and can go up to very high frequency. Depends on the vibration. Like you know how fast is the vibration? That will depend low frequency or high frequency sound wave you can generate. But what happens? Every living being can't hear all possible frequencies available. That is why there is always one range for every living being where they can comfortably hear that range of frequency. So for human being, range of frequency is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz or we can call it 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. You remember unit of frequency is hertz? Hertz means that many cycle per second. So range of human hearing is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. But that is not the range of sound frequency. Sound is extending from right from very low frequency going up to very high frequency. So this is the spectrum of sound and here somewhere it is 20 hertz to, to 20 kilohertz. So this is the range human beings can, can hear. But what about the frequency which are lower than this and the frequency which are higher than this? There are different life forms they can detect it. Frequencies which are below 20 hertz are known as infrasonic frequency. And the frequencies above 20 kilohertz are known as ultrasonic frequencies. This is the audible range for human being. Infrasonic below 20 hertz and ultrasonic above 20 kilohertz. So there are animals who can detect that. Like if you see elephant, rhinoceros, these are the animals who are sensitive for very low frequencies, for infrasonic frequencies. That's why at times of like you know natural calamity, like earthquake is happening. So we all believe that animals can sense it. Human being can't sense it because of the frequency of those sound waves. There are animals who can sense it, like elephant, as I told you, elephant can do it or rhinoceros can do it, they can detect this frequency, we cannot. Similarly, there are ultrasonic frequency higher than 20 kilohertz. Again, there are some life forms who can detect it, like bat or dolphin, they use the ultrasonic frequency, they can hear that frequency. And using those ultrasonic frequency only the bats are hunting in the night, hunting in the dark. Okay, they are using the concept of reflection of ultrasonic waves and that, that's how they are locating their prey. So this is about range of hearing of human being. And one more thing we should understand that range of hearing does not remain the same throughout one's life. When we are very young, our hearing range is much higher. A child can hear up to 25 kilohertz. And as we age, efficiency of our hearing system decline. And for generally, human can hear in this range. Okay, so when you are adult, your hearing range is reducing. And with the age, the older people, they can not hear properly. They can, for them, this range is even reduced further. So with the age, your hearing range vary. Okay. So this is about infrasonic frequencies, ultrasonic frequencies and human hearing range, the sonic frequencies which we can hear. So now, apart from range 20 to 20 kilohertz, there are a lot of frequency ranges are available in sound waves and which are very useful. And we use them in lot of medical and industrial purposes as well. Especially the ultrasound, the frequency ranges which are above 20 kilohertz. So, ultrasound will be very high frequency wave and because of their high frequency, they travel along a well-defined path and they can penetrate through obstacles. This is the quality that is being used in many industrial and precisely in medical purposes. So, we will talk about the medical purposes later. First, in mechanical purposes. What happens? There are very big complicated machines. 
like a big boiler or like you know automobile with the complicated and difficult to reach parts inside when they get dirty so ultrasound waves are used to clean them up how they do it they put the cleaner in those machines and then they agitate that liquid with the ultrasound waves and what the ultrasound wave will do because of the high frequency it will shake that liquid very vigorously okay and that will have kind of rubbing effect on those hard to reach places and when that liquid is washed off those places are cleaned ultrasounds because of their specific quality of traveling in a precise direction cracks and flaws in the large metallic block or the large concrete block which are you going to be used for bridges dams buildings or the metallic part like the body parts of the aeroplane or train so in these situations we don't want any flaw because any flaw will affect its strength that will be hazardous so to rule out possibility of any crack or flaw present in metallic or concrete block ultrasounds are used see the ultrasound waves will be directed towards that block to be detected and there will be the detector at the other end so if there is no flaw there is no crack or nothing abnormal there in the block all the rays will pass through and the detector on the other side will detect it but whenever there is some flaw there ultrasound will not pass through it normally okay it will start behaving differently it will be deflected somehow it will be reflected you can see so the detector on the other side will not detect as the other ones are the strength frequency or direction something will change because of some abnormality in the block so the detector will detect it and we will come to know that there is some defect in the block so this is another industrial use of ultrasound waves then in the medical purposes we are familiar with echocardiogram very commonly used medical procedure is ecg echocardiogram what happens in echocardiogram echocardiogram is used to take the image of the heart to take the echocardiogram ultrasound waves are sent to the heart and when they reflect back that gives the picture of the heart okay and then the techniques will be used to scan it and reproduce the picture of the heart so without operating it without cutting the body parts with the reflection of ultrasonic waves echocardiography can be used to take the picture of the heart another medical use of ultrasound is sonography or ultrasonography in this a scanner is used which will give you the image of body organs inner body organs like kidney liver gall bladder uterus and if there is any abnormality in there stone formation is there or something like that so this is very very useful procedure to get the image of the organs similarly because ultrasounds are very high frequency precisely directed waves so they can be used to break stones formed in the inner organs like kidney or gall bladder so the bigger chunk of stone formed in those organs will be like broken down into small parts using ultrasound power and then those grains will be flushed out of the body